about cream? The that, that I what? That you checked me about cream and cutty? Yeah. Checked you how? Because I've never had no conversations with you. The only thing, the only thing that I've ever said to you when that that trip we made to Atlanta, when we was in Atlanta and you was laughing and joking, and right. you was like, "Cream don't have nothing yeah. on China," and like, and I told them I don't like that because it's making it seem like I'm fucking with them. I said at the time I didn't have no issue with cream. That's what was said. So whoever you getting your facts uh, from. Yeah. Well, it came from Cream. No, it didn't cream come, said that came from Cream. cream no, did I, tell me. I just told you exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. And as a matter so of fact, cream was, was right there. After I so Cream is going to me? After I, that's fine. After I address Diamond first. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, first thing, we're going to go all the way back. Let me pull one thing up first. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up, Dave. I want you to stop your live for them to ask you that. <laughs> See, what's going on is it's a lot of behind the scenes with motherfuckers coming together trying to figure out how we going to do this. But it's, it's that, that's what's going on right now. It's a lot of people coming together to figure out and putting shit together to see what, what they can and what they going to do. And I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. That That's exactly what's going on. Because if I'm not mistaken, you was there that night, correct? Child, I, I listen. Let me tell you something. All this shit is a whole bunch of bullshit to me, and I don't keep this shit in my motherfucking mind because I got shit going on in real goddamn life. Only bitches who don't have shit going on, if, if that's their time, energy, and all this shit in that. So I don't wow. quite remember that motherfucking moment, but it was a whole lot of moments that don't went on. No, I'm saying that that was the night me, you, Cuddy, and Scout we went out. Wasn't nobody on no on no bullshit. Is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, and that wasn't even going on then. Oh, okay. That's when the shit started because we was yeah, hanging that's out. Exactly when it, that's exactly when it started. Hold on. I'm trying to find one thing, y'all. Like, Sorry. this really, like, getting really, like, too far out of motherfucking hand. It didn't got out of fucking hand. That shit is out of hand. <laughs> it has got. Definitely did. Really, motherfuckers, really too old to be doing this goddamn shit. Like we okay. motherfuckers should. Please like, say that. Fuck? Please okay. say that. Like shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't got time to be goddamn bitch. I'm trying to roll me a motherfucker's blood. I ain't got time to be talking about some. Did somebody say it? That bitch, bitch, whatever the fuck you think somebody said, then shit, run with it. What was next? Mm -mm -mm. I can't even find the fucking picture I was looking for. Girl, I, I fought, fought the picture. So let, no, let I, was, but no I wanted to. I, girl, shut up, Key now, bitch. No, I'm just saying, let you get to it. Like, <laughs> really, for real, for real. Ain't nobody got to show no type of, no type no, of I shit. I was looking for something because it goes with what I wanted to say. Relax. Oh. You're going to oh, have to let okay. me know. Okay, I know. I, I hold on. I just, you know, I just, you know. You, I you know. He like that. Just girl, yeah, because girl, you asked me a question and, and I kind of all right. I'm so, we're gonna go all smoke. the way back to um July. We're gonna go back to July now. I can repeat whatever I say, it don't matter. So, we're going all the way back to July. July is the first day, is the first time I ever had any interaction with Diamond. The way I had interaction with Diamond is because of Geisha 305. Geisha 305 is in my agency. Geisha 305 said Diamond was coming to the well, was coming to the app or whatever. So that's how well, no, it was before July, is when I first heard her name. When I first heard her name, but any conversation that I had with her didn't start till July. 
that's when I first had my first conversation with her is July. I hit Diamond up. I mean, I hit Geisha up. And I'm finna show you the message to that too. I hit Geisha up. And what I did was I told Geisha to give me a call. The reason why I told Geisha to give me a call because I said that Diamond was sitting with Keys and all of them and I saw her getting into some bullshit. And I was telling her to watch how she moved and all of that type of stuff. So I'm finna show you the message from July the 14th that me and Geisha had with me asking her to call me to relay, to relay the message to Diamond to give me a call. So let me, that's the first. Uh, we gonna go from the beginning. That's what we finna do. Geisha. As you can see, <clears throat> is it mirrored, y'all? Is it mirrored? Can y'all read that? Hey, trying to give me a call, telling her to give me a call. So she finally, as you see, you just called me back, right? So she called me back and I told her to pass the message on the diamond. But I also went, I think it was in her inbox or something like that and told her to give me a call and I left my number. So she called me back and you're finna see this. So that date on there was July the 14th, correct? Did y'all see that date? Put a one if you saw the date. July the 14th. Okay. Now we're going to go to me and Diamond Messages. Now, this starts July the 15th. Now, the first messages that she sent me was screenshots of PKs that she didn't get rebates for after we talked on the phone on the 14th. The 14th is when we first actually had a conversation on the phone because she got the message and she called me on the 14th of July. Okay. That was the first time that she called and she went on to saying the agency she was in, Brooke, whatever the girl name is, ain't helping her, ain't assisting her, ain't doing all that shit. She ain't getting reached. She don't know how to do this. Basically was saying that the agency, which the agency that she was in, Brooke, was a piece of shit agency mm -hmm. and she don't have no communication with her. And she was asking, how can I get her out of her agency? And I told her I could not. That's first. So I'm going to show you when our conversation started. I got to go all the way up. Hold on. So y'all can see when the conversation first started. Damn, cuz. So we both really met you at the same time. Facts. Okay. I'm, I'm getting, it's going to take me a minute, but I'm getting to it, y'all, because you got to start from the fucking beginning to have a clear understanding of what the fuck is really going on. That's what we got to do. We got to have a clear, hey, Bev, we got to have a clear understanding of what the fuck really going on and how shit transpired. So, hey, Miss Lena. I want y'all to see King this, Petty? okay? I'm, I'm still scrolling up to our messages all the way up to July. So, I'm turning my camera around. Nothing was deleted. I can't refresh nothing else. I can't refresh nothing else. I can't refresh nothing else. You understand what I'm saying? I can't refresh nothing else. As I just told y'all, the basis of our conversation, when she sent me those, I told her, I'll try to submit your, your PK screenshots. I also saw, I was, also saw that she was around snooping stuff. And like I was telling her that my real dad, my dad that just passed away last year is related to Snoop. I, that's what I was, <laughs> sorry, telling her. She was like, oh, yeah, well, cousin, we family, we this, we that. That's how we started with the cousin shit, okay? That's how we started with the cousin shit because, first off, my real dad looked just like Snoop. That's number one. Number two, my real dad is from Tyler Town, Mississippi. It's a long train of everything. Of basically, my, my, my grandfather, which is my dad's dad, is related to Snoop's dad. So that's how that started, okay? And that's how we started calling each other cousins. Now, with that being said, so the through marriage part was correct. That's how we started calling each other cousins. So this ain't no delusion, no shit. This, it was a mutual thing. Now I met Key through Diamond, okay? And that's how me and Key became cousins because she supposedly, I thought, was Diamond cousin. She's not related to Diamond, okay? She's not. None of us are. 
So if we gonna Not tell even the fucking Snoop. truth, we gonna tell the whole fucking truth. Bitch. <laughs> okay? Sorry. All of us are not play cousins, correct? So you want the truth? Here it is. Keith, is that your blood cousin? Yes or no? No. Okay, let's get with it. After that, we started, we moseying on along, moseying on along. So as you know, she left Keys or whatnot. She waited a while, said she was going to come to me. It was her and Lionel B. Y'all remember Lionel B? Y'all remember Lionel B with the bald head that she brought over here to do the show? Huh? Y'all remember him? Yeah. So basically, to make a long story short, you see he's no longer sitting on the panel with her no more. He was the first to fucking leave. See, y'all be so fixated on what everybody else is fucking doing. Y'all need to sit back and watch and pay the fuck attention on why motherfuckers <laughs> is disappearing and why motherfuckers is leaving. Damn, shut the hell up with your so mess. We you know, goddamn well, Michelle way Obama ain't her motherfucking She is cousin. a fucking liar. Okay? She's a liar. And he said the same thing along with every fucking body else. Now, and ain't nobody got to tell nobody nothing to run them off. Nothing. All you got to do is pay so off. So let's start picture. off with some of the fucking lies. The first lie she told is said that Drake paid for her son's funeral. That's the first lie. Okay? The second lie is, if you heard these lies, put a one in the fucking comments. The next lie was, El Chapo's son came with seven fucking sprinters to her son's fucking funeral. Second fucking lie. But y'all want to sit on here and want to okay. lie and sit up here and make it seem like it's me. It's not me. All these people not going to be on this bitch fucking lying. Y'all wanted the truth, here it is. And you yeah, better buddy. come with a good fucking rebuttal. Ooh. Second thing. Hold on, I gotta go to my screenshots. Y'all gotta bear with me. It's gonna, it's we got we got a minute here. Tap the screen to shut alive. Next thing hey. that really got us going. I got a message. Hold on, I gotta find the fucking message. Yeah, tap the screen so you can. Um, okay. I went to um Atlanta. Okay. I went no, first let me go back. We were all sitting on a panel. It was me, Key Montana, Imani, Turk, Lionel B. And it was one more person, I think, on that panel. Mafia D was on that panel. I didn't even fucking know shit from fucking Shinova. Like I said, I just met this lady in fucking July. Okay? So, let's break it down. I had no fucking clue that she used to be married to Mafia D. And y'all heard her say this on her live. The RICO mm -hmm. Act. That's the fuck why she claimed she married him. It was nothing into it. It was a business deal. That's what I was told along with other motherfuckers. Never knew. So Mafia D is Big Meech's real blood nephew. So nobody never sat up here and fucking said that she was not a part of BMF. It was said that she was not blood related. So let, let, let me show y'all something else. Since it's me doing Possible. all of this and it's me trolling, let me show y'all. Now, mind you, you see, I didn't meet her until July. Correct? Correct? Put a one if I said that. I didn't meet her till July. And I just showed you proof I didn't meet her until July. So let me tell you something else. One thing about Bigo, when you get on this bitch and you start talking about who you is and what you know and you acting like you this person, Motherfuckers is already pulling your information up and talking about you on this motherfucking app. Motherfuckers is already sitting on information, waiting on you to fucking slip up so they can blast your ass. Is it a lie? No. So let me take you back to May. We gonna go back to May. Now, no I didn't even meet her until July. But we finna go back to May. So let's go back to May.
Now, and I also have documentation to prove I was never in B.O.B. The old B.O.B., all y'all know, I was never in that fucking group. I have never been in B.O.B. Yeah. Never, ever been in B.O.B. because me and Pastor P was at fucking odds. Morning, Drip. Yep. So if you in the congregation in here and y'all know, please put a one up in the fucking comments to, to verify that, please. Damn it, if you're in a fire and ice, put your one to them. Put it in there if you know for a fact I was never in that fucking group. We all was here. Thank you. Hello. So, they started being on her motherfucking ass in May. I didn't meet her till July. Because the first post about her was in May. In B.O.B. Let me show it to you. I got shit. I got all my screenshots right here, but I just have to see which one it really fucking is first. Hold on. Take your time, cousin. Nobody gonna rush you. It's fucked up that I even have to do this shit, bro. It's fucked up. So, I didn't meet her until July the 14th, correct? I'm gonna show y'all a train of messages. I need y'all to look right here. Fuck you, Dredd. You see that right here? Look at the date. Is is my phone mirrored, y'all? Yeah. It's May 7th at what 9. What that say? May 27th. I ain't never seen Diamond P ways look speaking so angry. I ain't never seen Diamond P on the shade room. Okay. So, May 27th. Dread better get her long little pad ass up out of here and go what? goddamn oh. kiss on Lock Queen. <laughs> Damn, P. It's Shut the fuck up, boy. <laughs> but <laughs> do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? So my question is this. Does this prove that motherfuckers in May was already pulling up her information before I met her? I'm asking. Put a one if that means yes. That people were already pulling up her information before I even had any fucking contact of her. Good morning, Queen Kennedy. Okay, thank you. Next thing. July 12th. I still didn't fucking know this lady, y'all. I didn't make first initial contact with this lady, bro. Face to face. I mean, phone to phone until July the 14th. This right here. It's the whole write up July the fucking 12th. I have to get somebody to screenshot me this. This is something. Hold on. I got to make sure. Don't go out. This is something. Okay, see, don't add me. We was on her ass when she joined Key. And I had absolutely nothing to fucking do with that. As you can see, this I got this yesterday. I'm not even in there. I had to tell somebody to go fucking find it. You see when I got it? Yesterday. Y'all remember that post, right? Highly unique so radio. I, What's that? That's the radio station she used to work at. So, moving on Not along. Not B-103. I met a young lady named CB. Internet Y'all remember CB that used to sit on my panel? Y'all remember her? That used to sit on my panel? Yeah. Now she sits with Robert and them? Let me go to that receipt. I think it was after we got off the phone or they had already had a conversation. But anywho, to make a long story short, we used to give CB over here on my panel, the one that she calls sis. Oh, she knows her off the app. Y'all remember her saying that? Do y'all remember her saying that? Huh. Yeah. Well, tell me why you told us don't give your sis CB no more because she's a fucking bean, a bean thot and a bean, and she don't throw shit back. That's why we stopped gifting you CB because she told us not to give you. We don't know you from Adam or fucking Eve. We don't know you. That's why we stopped gifting you because your sis told us don't fucking gift you. That's why. Moving on along, 
when I got to Atlanta the first time, that was the same time I met up with Messy Steph. That was the time I met up with Scout, Cuddy, Key, I think it was Kitty, and whoever the fuck else. I don't even remember who the other person was. But I flew in. I didn't drive that time, y'all. I didn't drive. I did not drive that time. So wherever, Key, Key picked me up from the airport. But well, first, let me go back a little bit. I thank God that I have discernment and I thank God that I use my fucking intuition. I use my own fucking mind and I don't pin on nobody for fucking nothing. Because first off, when I was coming down there the first time, we were supposed to be doing something, a memorial or something, or a balloon release or something for her son. I was coming to fly out to support that. Genuine. I was genuine with the shit. Absolutely fucking genuine. I was spending money to come down there to be there for you for your son for a balloon release. Am I lying? True. Am I lying, Key? That's you why too. I was coming. I was coming to fucking support. No malicious intent. And if I get emotional, oh fucking well, also oh fucking be it because I am tired of people lying on me. Some shit may be true, but it's a lot of shit that is not fucking true. And y'all jump on the narrative and jump on the fucking bandwagon. And then now y'all gonna really understand why the yeah. fuck I feel like I feel. Yeah. I yeah. genuinely went down yeah. there to be supportive. Okay? I genuinely did. Genuinely. Ain't no bullshit. But what ended up happening, she said she just wasn't up to it. I can respect that. I can respect it. But I still was coming because I knew that was going to be a hard time for you. So me and Key was getting together to try to show some type of support. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I didn't ask for no money. I didn't ask for nothing. She said, cousin. She said, oh, you can stay with me. I said, all Child. right. Wait a minute. I said, all right. The day that I was flying out. She said something that she got to do this. And I said, it's okay. I already booked my own room because my discernment and my fucking spirit told me to book my own shit. Anytime I go somewhere, I book my own shit. If you've ever traveled with me, I pay for my own shit. It may pay for your shit. That is me. That is my heart. And I can't fucking help that. Ain't no playing no victim. Ain't playing none of that shit. We speaking facts. I still didn't even fucking have an attitude, bruh. Still didn't have an attitude. If you fly in somewhere and you riding with somebody else, let's make it make sense. If you riding with somebody else, you got to roll when they roll and roll how they roll. Correct? So we told her to meet us halfway. She had an attitude. So we ended up meeting at a hookah spot. She had an attitude about that. She had an attitude about that. She did. She had an attitude from the jump when me and Key linked up. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me cut in right here, because this is the part where it came in on me too. Oh, yeah. So then, after all of that, she telling Lionel B that we acting funny she tried to show out on the show subliminally on and us on me and key she went off on me and key on her fucking show yeah and i want to say that i'm not a motherfucking cab or a taxi and i am not obligated to meet nobody no motherfucking well bitch just like you got a car i have a car so you better get in your car and come out and participate or nobody else so if i don't want to go that way then bitch i'm not coming that way and who gonna make me she Period. had an attitude with us for no reason i jumped in the camera i was like oh cousin we about to party we about to turn up she said and she started doing that subliminal shit i i said i ain't heard from you i'm entitled to have a motherfucking bad day i'm dealing with shit we, I don't even know where the fuck that shit came from. That's how she came at us. Inside, I'm really happy to see you, to embrace you and be there for you because you telling us how much you fucking heard about your son death. 
So me being your cousin, I'm going to hurt when you hurt because I'm passionate about that shit. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. So what's wrong with that? And everything we saying, everything we're fucking saying, it could be backed up. So moving on along. I ended up Miss Mama's all you gotta do is sit and listen, honey. That's all you I gotta wanna, do. You don't gotta come ask them. Up, I wasn't gonna have key doing that. You understand what I'm saying? So I took a lift. She was Diamond was coming to get me. Her and her kids was coming to get me from the hotel. She caught a flat tire. So what I did was I caught a lift to the tire place where she was at. We went out to eat. We had a nice time, a good time. She started feeling bad. So I had her take me back to the fucking room. Her kids are sweet as fuck. I don't have nothing to say bad about her kids. They are some sweet kids. They are. I thought everything was nice that day. We kicked it the whole fucking day. Went out to eat, went shopping, did all of that shit. She took me back to the room. I got back. I laid down for an hour. When I laid down for an hour, Messy Steph is, if Messy Steph in here, she could tell you. Messy Steph came pick me up from the hotel. Me and Messy Steph went out together. We went out together. And if I'm not, and, and, and to really be honest, because I didn't really get to spend time with her, key can vouch for this key. Didn't I leave a day early? Yeah. Because I was going to give you my room if you just wanted to give away, get away. You get what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, they could come in here. They could, they could sit long as they not being disrespectful. Just mute them, y'all. Just mute them. Okay. Just, just mute them. I because think they kicked Miss Mamas. That's what they kicked. Yeah. Y'all gotta understand. We all messy on this bitch. We all have a messy side. We all like that. We all like to be fucking nosy. Am I guilty of that? I absolutely am. Do I talk my shit? I absolutely do. I'm not gonna lie. I do. But in the midst of it, I still have a, I still have regards to how I treat people. No matter what I do. So with that being said, because of that, I ended up flying home a day early. I wasn't going to see her the next day because she had a show or something. So what was, that was my main reason. Yeah, I had a good time with Key, but my main reason for coming down was to spend time with her. We spent that one fucking day together. And when she came, she had an attitude when she came in the fucking hookah lounge with her nose turned up. Uh, like, what the fuck? Because she had to drive. Yes. So moving on along. So ever since that trip, that's when shit changed. That's when shit changed. She started acting funny. People yeah. can say no, she did. Now, yeah. a lot of y'all have known me from fucking day one. When have anybody, and I, I just want to say this because I want it verified. If you have never known me to be on a fufu page, put a one in the comments. I'm going to use punkin as a fucking example. When they used to call in on the L show on me and talk about me on the L show, I always fell out the window on this page. Did I, did I not? On my real fucking page. Did I or did I not come in on my real page? Thank y'all. Real page. And they and y'all always used to talk about me. Here come China, old smushed in face ass, falling through the fucking window. And I always said, yep, I own my shit. Did I or did I not? So if you know that I'm not capable of doing that shit, why are y'all so quick to jump on a fucking bandwagon? Because that's how this shit started. Now, I'm going to take y'all back. I'm finna show y'all a page. Finna show y'all a page. 
Now we really finna fucking see who behind fuck fake, who behind fake fucking pages. And a lot of y'all gonna remember this page. Do y'all remember seeing this page? That TA 531 page. Do y'all remember that page? Because whenever Diamond was live, that page used to gift her. Do y'all, straight up, do y'all remember that page? So let me tell you what this fucking says. PA 531. China. Is your cousin Diamond P okay? Because she was heated yesterday. So you're acting like you're somebody else because you 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 put on an episode on live and you wanted me to bring it up to talk about it to make motherfuckers feel sorry for you. But I've been quiet for a long fucking time. And a lot of y'all, and I'm going to tell you how I can back up. Coco, Brittany, Key, Lee, and Miss fucking K. Every time this shit happened, I used to screenshot this shit and put it in our fucking assistant fucking chat. And we used to be in that bitch laughing like this whole really think that we don't know that it's fucking her. <laughs> That's like, no, we, we, we need to be fucking serious about this shit. We need to be serious because y'all sitting up here. Y'all sitting up here and all y'all came on me and fucking blame me for just fucking going over that girl. Now, let me tell you the fucking rest. She was sitting in my fucking lives on a broken crayon page. Which now that broken crayon page is changed to her motherfucking ID. That's her number one fucking gift on her page right now. She changed the big old ID on it. That used to be the broken crayons page. Yeah, wake up. Now, y'all ready for this? Let's talk about the amount of money I fucking dropped. You want to see? Let's wake it up. Mind you, Eb is on her board. At least 17 dragons to 20 fucking dragons. You know why Eb was on her board for 17 to 20 fucking dragons? Because I dropped that on Eb and I asked Eb to drop that on her because you know what she said? Cousin, I'm trying to hit my meal because this is the anniversary for my son or his birthday or something, she said. Me being compassionate, oh, cousin, we got you. I'm going to try to help you get there as much as I can. And Eb will verify this. Even though me and Eb don't talk and don't get along, she'll verify that. You can't see it on her shit now because we haven't gifted that. So we haven't gifted her at all. We haven't gifted her. But I'm pretty sure Eb will, Eb, Eb will verify that. I told Eb to go drop that on her. The ginger. And she did. Eb went and dropped that on her. Hold on, this is my mama. Hello. Now, let me call you right back, mom. I'm on live. I'm trying to show something. Bye. So now I'm finna show you the screenshots of what I dropped on her from my pages. Um, I'm trying to go to the contributors list. So, <laughs> so Eb dropped that on her, correct? 17, 20 dragons. I can't remember what it was. It was supposed to be 20, but I think she ended up dropping 17. And I came through and I finished. So look what I dropped on her. That's another 15 fucking dragons, right? Mm -hmm. That's another 15 fucking dragons, right? On top of what Ed threw, another 15, correct? 
correct? Yeah. Now, let's be real. This right yeah. here, this cream of the crop page, this right here is my agency fucking page. Okay? Just off of the cream of the crop. And I know that this right here not even fucking accurate because guess what I did off of this cream of the fucking crop page? I had a whole, I had a whole group chat. I gave away over 40 fucking dragons. You know who could verify that? Key Montana, Bev the Troll, Cole, Lock Queen, um, Nate, all of them. I invested in them to put them over. Am I lying, y'all? Because y'all in the comments. I didn't ask yeah. for a fucking thing back. Nope. Nothing. And what ended up happening, they people couldn't, I ain't gonna say it like that. Some of they people couldn't come through to get them to at least seven fucking boxes. I dropped the whole fucking seven. I ain't even dropped five. I dropped seven. It was like 11 of us in that fucking group. And I, well, really, I dropped 77 fucking dragons because it was like 11 of, well, I don't yeah. want to exaggerate. It was like 10 or 11 of us in there. I didn't ask for a fucking thing back. So let's so how this shit started was motherfuckers started trolling her. She thought it was me that was trolling her. So let me ask y'all a question. Who in their motherfucking right mind gonna go and troll some motherfucking body after they drop that amount of fucking bread on them and they ask for who in their right mind? Who in their right fucking mind? Gonna beef with some fucking body after investing that much motherfucking money in. Who? Who? So y'all would stop fucking with somebody after just intentionally is what I'm saying. You would make a fucking dry beef with somebody and troll somebody. I'm asking you, would you and would you go out your way to troll somebody that you dropped that much money in? No. Nobody fucking would. But what she started doing was lying on me, y'all. This whole mm. lied on me. Mm. And let me tell you how she found out. Well, how I found out. Y'all remember when I was live at my photo shoot? That was the next time I came to ATL. Y'all remember my photo shoot, right? Yeah. I had a photo shoot. I'm so pissed, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm pissed off. Because I've been quiet. I've been sitting on this for a long time. A long time. So, we telling her to, for the photo shoot, whatever, 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 whatever. You get what I'm saying? So, after the photo shoot or whatever, she still had like an attitude. She thought I was being funny because I didn't know where we were taking the photos that we were supposed to all take our cousins because we had a show. I, it was conversations with the cousins that me, her, and Keith had coming out. So we were supposed to sit down and have this show. So what the fuck happened was when we got to the studio, she came in the studio off the bat. Oh, this is a nice little cabin. She came in that bitch throwing shots. She came in that bitch throwing shots from the gate. She did. She threw shots from the fucking gate, bruh, and had a fucking attitude. I sat quietly for about 10 fucking minutes. So Longer than that. he got the guy, he got the guy to do the thing. And so she was like, oh, so you're not a real photographer. He's a videographer, but he still can take pictures. So she was just like, oh, so you came in there. So at that point, I had a fuck enough. And I asked her, I said, hey, cousin, I said, what's up with you? I said, you act like you got some fucking pressure on your chest. You want to get off. I'm trying to see what the fuck is up. Yeah, I do, but I'm cool, oh, because I'm trying to see what's up. So when y'all heard the fact of, and she was live at the time, so when they were saying that shit, remember when they said, oh, China check, Diamond P? That's where they got that shit from because she was live when that shit went down. I never said that I checked her. But I also said that that energy don't fucking match in person either. Mm -hmm. And I fucking stand on that. 
Mm-hmm. So y'all hoes be thinking a bitch is quiet and humble on here, but I'm I'm a totally different breed and fucking person. Straight up. And I'm gonna prove you one even fucking better. Hold on. I don't even know if she's gonna answer her fucking phone, bro. I like facts. Y'all like receipts, right? Who you think, Kyle? Mika. Huh? Huh? I gotta see if they're gonna answer first. She probably still asleep. She might be still asleep. Well, yeah, yeah. I ain't even got to do that. Miss K was there. So first off, what kicked everything off, she had an attitude. She did. Her energy was completely off when she came in that bitch, y'all. It was off. Period. It was really off. Like you felt. I asked fucking, what was wrong. You felt a fucking darkness in that bitch. Like no lie, that's something I was proud of. I was filming for a documentary, and then you went live. Why this lady was telling her fucking story and got emotional, and when the when the when the guy asked you was you live, you sat up and you blatantly fucking lied and said that you was not fucking live, and you sat live and you recorded this lady. You was on live while this lady was crying, telling her fucking story, and you lied. When that man asked you was you live, you said no, and you was fucking lied. You lied. You lied. You fucking lie. If y'all was in that line while we was filming, put a one in there. And when they asked her, she said, no, she wasn't live. She said she wasn't live. But y'all calling us the liars. Us. Moving on along. The next day, I was pissed as a motherfucker. I was so fucking pissed off. I didn't say nothing because I felt like that was a moment that I felt like if you say you, 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 as far as in y'all eyes, we was inseparable, right? Us cousins was inseparable, right? We was a a, a strong dynamic duo, trio, whatever you want to call it in y'all eyes based off of what I was y'all just thought, a help. I was right? just a help. Yeah, Key Montana was considered just the fucking help. <laughs> <laughs> now let's let let's keep it real. Let's keep it all the way fucking real. So I felt like you should have been happy for me. You already established, so you say. You said that you was established. You did. And you lie so fucking much, it's not even fucking funny. You had Mafia D come at me trying to get us to fucking talk. And I said, I ain't want to talk to you because I felt like I, I, I don't have nothing to say to you, especially after I found out this information. When we was on that panel, well, first off, this whole talk too fucking much. And I tell anybody in they fucking face, the dude Mafia D, I don't know this man from fucking Adam or fucking Eve, y'all. This came out of her mouth, and I was not the only person that she said this to. You're sitting in this man's face telling me on the side that you got to get him out of shit because he had a hit put out on him. That's what you told me. He can't go back somewhere. I don't know if it was where he from or Atlanta. I don't remember where it was from. Y'all know how I am about my fucking kids. I put that on my life and my fucking kids life. That lady said that she's always having to jump in the middle, but you going, but you got this man going to back to you, but you out in these streets telling people this nigga got a hit out on him. The nigga you was once married to. You said it. And I'm not the only person you said it to. But I'm the snake. I'm the liar. Like he is fun. Moving along. So y'all heard Dale this morning, right? When Dale said 
that people wasn't coming in his room no more. He was talking about me. He was talking about me. I stopped coming to his room because I just felt like energy was off. Now, let me tell y'all something. I met Dale and Cuddy and them in fucking person. Okay? When me, Cuddy, and Dale went out, also t Ross, my husband was with us. My husband was with us. So, moving on along. Um, fuck, I forgot. I forgot where the fuck I was at. Oh, um, can y'all tell me where I'm? I, it's just so Dale. much shit. Y'all don't even Dale. have a fucking clue. Dale. So, yeah. do y'all remember when Dale said that somebody was wasn't coming in his room, mm -hmm. and I wasn't coming around? That was me because I felt like he was acting funny towards me, and he was acting funny towards me. You know why he was acting funny towards me? I'm going to give y'all a little bit of a gist of what happened. This is where the pillow talking comes in. She was behind the scenes telling Dale that I was trolling her and I was this bad person and I was this fucked up type of person. That's where this shit came from. And Dale said that it didn't sit right with him because he felt a certain type of way with me not coming in his room no more. That's why I stopped coming in his room. I started removing myself from anything that she was fucking with because I knew what she was doing to me behind the fucking scene. We gonna wake it up. We gonna wake it all the way up. She went to numerous people talking about me behind the scene. She did. She went to Dale. Told him shit about me. She went to Key and had reservations. She went to Lionel. She had reservations. She even went to Scout. And told Scout that I, pre I pretty much need to prove that I have cancer. And this was recent. Oh, wow. But y'all coming at me. I went live. For all of y'all that don't know, and I'm going to keep it 100%. Do y'all remember the live that I had when I was at the doctor's office? Do y'all, some of y'all was in here when I was at the doctor's office and we were talking about my cancer at the doctor's office because they were showing the MRI machine. Do y'all remember that? And another young lady was scared because she had to have an MRI done. Do y'all, do y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. And I, the, the nurse let me show her the MRI machine and I was like, she's going through the same thing that I got to go through. And she has her MRI and the lady came and the nurse, not no lady, the nurse came on and said, it looks scary, but it's not scary. Do y'all remember that live? Do y'all remember that? Because yeah. don't say you remember yeah. it and you don't fucking remember it. Yes, I remember. Because there was 800 people in my room when I was live. I also went live and showed y'all November. I showed y'all because a lot of people did not know how a mask looks nobody knew how a mask looked so what i did was i showed y'all my ultrasound i just and it was dated from november i showed y'all my ultrasound and y'all was like oh my god i never saw that y'all also saw the clip where they put it at where they had to because it's not it's hard to find y'all remember it had clip on that that's where they put a clip inside of my breast so they could go back and find it when it's time for me to have my actual surgery. That's why I have the clip in my breast. Do y'all remember that live that I just showed y'all? I get pissed off because I got a fight on here and I got a fight off. Y'all can call me a cry baby. Y'all can call me anything, but I'm quiet. I do my shit, I talk my shit, but it hit different when it's somebody that you fuck with and you had no recollection that they was doing this behind your back. And y'all can say whatever y'all want, it's fake tears, you can say whatever. And I don't care about that. You can make a mockery of me, you can pick with me, I don't care. I don't give a fuck what I did prior to, but I do know one fucking 
fucking thing. You do shit to people you don't give a fuck about, but it hits differently when you really genuinely had cared about some fucking body. And this lady been going behind my back, talking about me behind my fucking back. She has. And I've been quiet. Anybody and I got look. all y'all coming at me like it's just me snaking her. And she been snaking me the whole fucking time. That's fucked up. And there's going to be a rebuttal like I did something to her. No. Everybody that who named my name could come forward and say this shit fucking happened. And it's fucked up. I've been quiet. This shit been going on since what? September? Yep. Since September. In months. I just been shutting the fuck up. And to this day, she's saying she has it. She has. Just yesterday. Y'all remember she was live yesterday and she ended her live abruptly. She ended her live because Lionel B was sitting on my fucking panel. And you know what they did? They text that man and told that man that Key me and Key was trying to set him up on my fucking panel yesterday. Y'all thinking this bitch don't do nothing. She just did this shit yesterday and told this man that we tried to set him up. You haven't talked to this fucking man in fucking months, bitch. And he don't even fuck with you. While that man was sitting on my fucking panel, you called him. That's why he dropped off my fucking panel. Do y'all remember when he got off, he got off my panel because they called him? And they told that man, man, he trying to set this fucking man up. Give me a second. You got too much. Just give me on. one second. Please, catch yourself. We know he didn't believe that ass because what he do, he came right back. Yeah, he came right back and we doing the show. He on him the same exact way. That's why he's yeah. not over here anymore. But I ain't gonna tell his story. I let him tell it himself. And the only reason that I'm, um, cause I, 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 fuck, I did fuck with both of them. So since we, since we doing it, and I kept, I tried to keep this shit down for a long ass time, because I do know that the girl have, um, some issues and shit going on. But at the end of the day, when you start trying to um talk shit about me, and I ain't, I told her I ain't doing nothing to you, and you telling people that I'm your cousin and all of this, and and we, I, I don't know nobody in her family. Like I don't even know. Listen, I didn't even know nothing about Mafia D. I didn't know how she was related to BMF and all of that. That shit, all that shit was found out later on down the line like probably within the last since i've been on beagle yeah so all of this shit is goddamn new to me i knew her you know what i'm saying and i knew she had shit going on and i kind of felt sorry for her and all of that because you know people be in different mind spaces and they still still trying to give her the benefit of the doubt but like this shit going too far this shit going too far you know what I'm saying? And no. Like we show like no we talk, we, not talked about, real, we talked about Ed, we talked about Brandon, we talked about M and all the shit that was going on. We did. So if any messages come up, we absolutely did. Because it was a lot of behind the scenes talking and I could we be had to and figure this shit that. out. Yep. We did. Shit, we, we was did. trying to figure shit we had out. A lot of conversations. And, stuff that and let me coming. tell you how fucked up. So she was sitting on this panel going off about comment slaying them, correct? Y'all remember that? Putting her two cents in about comment slaying them, correct? Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Remember I told you Broken Crayons was her page, right? Let me show you something. And this gonna show y'all 
what I'm talking about. When me and her got into it, this is what the fuck she did. She went right in comment slayer in the room after you was just talking about them with us and laughing and playing in their fucking face just alone and all of that type of shit. You a snake ass bitch. Let me show you what you did. When me and you stop talking and I stop fucking with you and everybody else around start fucking with you. You see what this is, huh? Broken crayons is in comment slayer in the fucking room. You see that, right? Hold on. So look at this. Yeah, she like even wrote bitch. hi in the fucking comments. Sexy troll. Your mama snake, bitch. How the fuck she muted and your this? Your dad the apple. How your dad the bitch. Said, well, I, I muted it already. So a lot of the stuff that was being said. They probably just muted. A lot of times I was getting phone calls. We were sending each other shit in the thing about lives. If Brandon and Ed was talking about us, we were talking outside of this app. We were talking amongst each other. We was. So moving on along, um, what ended up happening, um, she also told, like, it was no secret. Like I told you, my husband cheated and I said I wanted my lick back. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? Yeah. So what she did was she went to Lionel B and told Lionel B that she fucking off on her husband. She fucked this person. And that, so when she said she don't have Beagle bodies, she's talking about me. She's talking about me. But it's no reason why Lionel B should know, so, know something that he know, that he don't have no fucking business knowing. Right. But I sat on that. I didn't say anything. She's the same person that told somebody else who Key is supposed to be her first cousin that Key be going shopping and she always got empty bags. Like little simple shit. Like little simple dumbass shit. And we've been like, sitting on this like, bitch quiet. You got nine yeah. on one fingers with a 187 mouth. All of them subliminals, that's for us. Yeah. So it ain't no empathy. It ain't no sympathy I'm looking for. It ain't none of that shit. All I'm saying is, have I done some shit I'm proud of? I mean, have I done shit that I'm not proud of? Absolutely. Have I evolved my shit and stuff that I shouldn't have? Absolutely. But y'all have to sometimes just sit back and sit quiet and just really watch everything that goes on around you. Also, it was brought up that um i guess they're gonna try to expose that said a lot about being pregnant or whatnot said a lot about being pregnant well I, let me address this now because i heard it was brought up my husband's ex-girlfriend started that shit and i was going through a transition with her so I, from what i'm guessing somebody had to go through fb and i don't i don't really know how they got the information but we finna clarify this as well we're going to clarify this. Hey, Tammy. Hey. What you doing? Just, I just need you to answer these questions. Don't even ask me why, okay? Right. Where is our baby's ashes at? Both of the boys, where are they ashes? Huh? Okay, when I lost those boys, didn't you stay at the hospital with me from the beginning to the end till I got discharged? You can hear me? Yeah, yeah. I said, didn't you stay at the hospital with me from the time that I was there till the time I got out and got discharged? You slept at the hospital, right? Right. 
didn't you just go to the breast surgeon with me? Do I have breast cancer? Yes. Did I have breast cancer before? Yes. Thank you. I well, just, I, I, I will talk to you about it when you get home. What, what's wrong? I will talk to you about it when you get home, okay? Or call me on your lunch. We gonna talk. All right. All right. That man ain't gonna be able to focus still lunch. Yeah, he actually ain't gonna be able to shit. He's no, fucked fuck up. Morning. Yeah, you fucked his shit up with that one, baby. He pissed off. It, yeah, that shit. Yeah, y'all gotta chill. That, that sounds yeah. tell oh, some of that like, what's going on because that you like, like that was too much and uh like without like you can't do that. We all hold on. Go go handle your business, honey. Text or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. he ain't gonna be able to focus at work. Yeah, you and then see this shit is about your be doing all of this. This shit too much for a fucking out. Like it, this shit enough for everybody to have attention. Like if if a motherfucker want to be somebody that they don't want to be, the internet is the place to do. I mean that they want to be. The internet is the place for that. You don't gotta go add no extra shit and do all of that. Like bitch, be who you want to be. Bitch, be great. You don't gotta involve nobody else. You don't gotta do all of that shit. This shit don't make sense. This shit is here. Digging up shit, you some miserable ass old ass bitches, and I said what I said Rich. in the industry. You gotta and, be a nasty, um, evil, let me, miserable let me bitch. Just carry on. That. So she had been doing this shit behind the scenes to, um, to a lot of people. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and right, Harlem. In a sense, I will be wanting to say this because I feel like cream is really blindsided by a lot of the shit that's going on. And I'm only going to apologize to Cream because I completely block Cream. I don't talk to Cream. And I did elevate my voice with Cream when we were talking on the phone. It's not that I'm scared. It's not that none of that. But I am, um, right. I am definitely a woman about mine. And let me say this out loud. And as Cuddy is, is Cuddy in here because I want Cuddy to attest to this. Because I don't like no secrets. I don't like none of that shit. I'm a woman before anything else. Me, Cuddy, Cuddy will attest to this. Cuddy can attest to this. I was the one talking to Cuddy, trying to get Cuddy to take a DNA test. Because I fucked with Cream. It was me. And Cuddy will tell you. I used to talk to him all the time all the time well why you don't want to take the test me and cuddy had deep conversations i was the one trying to get him to take the test me so i never had no malicious intent towards cream either but i really feel like it was pushed off that way and i think that that day when i did snap at her or the day that i raised my voice i was pissed off because i knew all of the stuff that was going on now let me tell y'all what happened with that Diamond. You don't. <laughs> no, because we gonna wake it up. And if they feel like they'll a, a a bitch ass nigga for this, he's not because he was just letting us see that she's not who she say she is. Me and Key was on the phone with Dale. We heard Diamond begging Dale. I don't want to be with nobody else. I just want to talk to you. You believe in everything <laughs> that everybody else say. Let's wake it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what you said. And we heard you say that. Mm -hmm. And what happened was you went to Cream and you were telling Cream your own narrative of your training train of events and Cream called Dale. Cream wasn't calling on no malicious type of shit. Wasn't. Yep, she thought she was being she a friend. She thought she was being a friend. And what I did was I, I took it upon myself to call Cream. That's probably where I overstepped my boundaries. And I'm a woman and I can admit that. I called Cream and I told Cream a little bit of the stuff that was going on between me and Diamond. And I just said, I said, that girl ain't what, what she what she pan out to be. I did tell Cream that. I told Cream that. And Cream went back and told Diamond what I said. Now, this is where it gets different. 
this is where I feel like Cream got misled a little bit. Um, Cream told Diamond, and Cream said it. I wasn't well. I wasn't on a phone call with them. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't on the phone call with when when her who was on the phone call with y'all. Um, what her phone ringing? Who was on the phone with y'all? Me, Cream, me, her, Cream, and Mafia D. Once again, Mafia okay. D. So I wasn't on the phone with them. I wasn't on. I wasn't on the phone with them. So Cream did say that when she brought it back to Diamond, she wasn't. She told Diamond, "I didn't say anything in a malicious intent, or I didn't say anything bad." Cream did say that, but when when Diamond brought it to you, Key, how was it brought to you? Like you was being messy and all of that. And that's so, when I was telling, I told Cream that that's exactly, I mean, that you, that she didn't bring it back like it was no intent, that she definitely brought it back like she was being messy. And at this point, this is where everybody need to mind their own business because it has nothing to do and nobody can say that I feel you should do this and this was wrong and this was wrong because everybody don't know the whole story. So everybody at this point needs to mind their business. And that was the last so, time that I got the cream. After that, what happened was Mafia D, Cream, and Diamond, they all called me on three-way. Um, I They asking me what did I say or what did I tell cream or some I, I to be honest i swear to god on my kids i can't remember but i kept on telling them i wasn't on the conversation to know how cream had brought it back to diamond so they said i was a liar i was a liar i had three people on the phone against me but i'm a liar no diamond you painted the narrative and the story to be what you wanted the what, what you wanted it to be and you got with people who you felt like was going to take your side and that's what happened i didn't say nothing malicious that's all the fuck i said that's it that's all i said so moving on along um me and cream stopped talking i ended up blocking you know because i did like i say elevate my voice but um you know what I'm saying? But I just don't, I, I guess I was off of impulse because I was pissed off. So then I get a, a diamond gives Mafia D my telephone number. And he's telling me that we cousins and we need to talk. I said, I'm not talking to her. So he comes at me talking about, a hey, my nigga. Like I'm a nigga on the street. So me and him had words. And like I told him, it's a lot of stuff that you don't know about. And he was, I said, I could say some shit right now that'll tell you something. And it'll fuck you up. Nah, my nigga, you say you real? Tell me. No, I wasn't going to tell you that this girl actually said that somebody had a hit out on you and she got to keep stopping them. You can't go. I don't know if it was where you from or Atlanta. I'm not the only person that she told this to. That's why Key Montana was like, it's a lot you don't even fucking know. It's a lot you don't know. But I didn't feel like I had to be the one to tell you that. But now that it's coming out and I keep constantly getting painted to be like this malicious bad person that's fucked up. Like that's wrong. Oh, Dale, I already told them that she had told you some shit to try to turn you against me. That's where the pillow talking came in because you let me know that you wasn't feeling right and that I was acting funny and not coming in your room and that bothered you. So I let them know that's how the pillow talking came into place. So that's how it came into place. So I have been going through this shit since September, since my photo shoot. This lady has went to different people talking about me behind my back. But the killer part about this shit is she was still sitting on my panel. I was still gifting her. Her energy had shifted and her energy had focused. You know, it it just it just shifted a lot. And what ended up happening, I was like, what you doing? It was always she's doing something. She's at the lawyer's office or she's talking to the DL or she's doing this or she's doing that. No, I'm not dumb. When I found out what was going on, you were sitting on the panel getting gifts and talking to me behind the scenes. 
but you had to act like you wasn't fucking with me in public because you were talking about me behind my back to motherfuckers. So you had to play that role on the panel. 